वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू आर सी ट्रांजियंट रिस्पॉन्स यूजिंग लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन आर सी ट्रांजियंट रिस्पॉन्स राइट बट दैट वॉज बीन एक्सप्लेन विथाउट लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू आर सी ट्रांजियंट रिस्पॉन्स बाई यूजिंग लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन so that you can get understanding like how by using laplace transformation we can solve electrical circuits right so if you observe here we are having rc circuit connected in series and we are having one switch over here in the circuit shown in figure switch s is off for so longer period so here this is off for so longer period at time t is equals to 0 this switch is getting on and we are deal with to find the expression of i of t using laplace transformation so this current i that we are deal with to derive about so here we should be observing this circuit step by step so see case 1 that is the regarding switch is off and when this switch is off at that time this supply is not connected in this circuit so nothing will happen in this circuit let me write that first so as switch is off for t less than 0 we don't have any charge which is there inside of this capacitor so voltage across capacitor that will be zero initially right now what will happen is at time t is equals to 0 this switch is getting on right now what i'll do is i'll explain you when this switch is getting on how we can convert this given circuit in terms of laplace domain right so now see at time t is equals to 0 this switch is getting on and now what i'll do is i'll connect this circuit in form of laplace domain so here we have dc voltage source which is having constant voltage v right so instead of this voltage v now in laplace domain this dc voltage will be v by s let me draw that so now you see this voltage source now that will be represented by v divided by s right now as this switch is on now we are having resistor over here so that will be r only for resistor there will be no change in element right now you can observe here we are having capacitor so when you connect capacitor over here at that time instead of c you will have to write 1 by sc let me connect that now when you convert this capacitance into laplace domain in series with that there will be voltage source right but as you see in previous case when switch was off there was zero voltage which was there across this capacitor so now we don't need to connect voltage source over here if there is voltage charge in this capacitor in that case in series with this 1 by sc i should be connecting voltage source but here there is zero voltage which is stored in this capacitor so there will be nothing which will be there in series with this capacitor so now we have this i right and now we are deal with to find that and now this i will be i of s instead of i of t right now we have this circuit and in this circuit now we can apply all those rules which we have studied previously like kvl kcl all those things right so let us consider this loop as i of s and apply kvl in this loop so as if you apply kvl in this loop you see in this loop we have one voltage source which is having polarity like this plus minus and you see it is happening from minus to plus so here i should be writing v divided by s over here that is positive right and that is equals to now you see across resistance r voltage will be r into i of s so i should be writing r into i of s over here and now see this capacitance it is impedance now right 1 by sc that is impedance so impedance into current that is what voltage across this capacitor so i should be writing plus impedance 1 by sc into current i of s now we are deal with to find i of s right and then we will apply inverse laplace to get 
the answer which is what i of t right we want that in terms of time domain but using laplace we will be doing this so now let us take i of s common out of this term so when you take this i of s common then you see r plus 1 by sc that is happening like this now we can say that i of s based on this that is v divided by s divided by r plus 1 by sc right now let us take lcm over here so if you take lcm then this will be v divided by s this divided by 1 by sc lcm that will be r c into s plus 1 and this divided by sc now you see this s and this s that will get cancelled right and this c will go in numerator so i can say v into c divided by 1 plus r c into s now to have this laplace inverse laplace of this you should have denominator in terms of s plus something right so what i'll do is now i'll take r c common so you will be observing that now you see v into c divided by now i'm taking r c common so this will be s plus 1 by r c and this c and this c will get cancelled so this term will be v divided by r this divided by s plus 1 by r c now for this we can have inverse laplace right so let us apply inverse laplace to this term so if you apply inverse laplace then this i of s that will get converted into i of t now you see v by r that is constant so i am writing v divided by r and you see 1 by s plus 1 by r c that inverse laplace will be e to the power minus t divided by r c so this is what the expression which we have and this is what expression that we have it for t greater than or equal to 0 s which is getting praised at t is equals to 0 right so as time is increasing you will be observing that exponentially this function will decrease right so if you want to see this graphically then you can see over here we are having i of t and here we are having time axis right now at t is equals to 0 e to the power 0 that will be 1 so i of t is having maximum value that is v by r so let us say over here maximum value is v by r now as time is increasing you see exponentially this function will decrease as per e to the power minus t by r c so exponentially this function that will decrease right so i can say that this is what v by r into e to the power minus t by r c and this is what the response which we have which is exponentially decreasing with respect to time right i hope you have understood this how we can use laplace transform to identify response in transient analysis right there will be at least 10 examples that i'll be providing over here so that will resolve your understanding regarding how we can apply laplace transformation to find the response of electrical circuit in transient response i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video